Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day. November 27, 1809. Berners Street Swindle. Berners Street Hoax was a prank played by Theodore Hook in the city of Westminster, London, in 1809. Hook had made a bet with his friend Samuel Beasley that he could, within a week, turn a particular nearby residence into the most talked about address in London. He kept the deal by sending out hundreds of letters in Madame Tottenham, who lived at 54 Berners Street, requesting deliveries, visits and services. Young as he was, Hook was already known for his wit, good humor, and taste for teasing. Walking down Berners Street one day, he was struck by the modest but graceful appearance of a certain house. I'll bet a guinea, Hook told his friend who accompanied him, that in a week this quiet residence will be the best known in all of London. The deal was made, and over the next four or five days Hook dispatched hundreds of letters in the name of one Miss Tottenham, dictating orders to all sorts of merchants and workers and specifying a certain date and time for their services to be rendered at the house number 54, on Berners Street. On November 27, at 5 in the morning, a janitor arrived to clean the chimneys of Miss Tottenham's home. The maid who attended him informed him that no cleaning had been requested, and that his services were not required. Moments later another janitor appeared, then another, and another, until there were a total of twelve. After the last cleaners had been dismissed, a convoy of carts carrying loads of coal and potatoes began to arrive, followed by a series of bakers delivering huge wedding cakes, and then doctors, lawyers, priests and vicars called in to give aid or extreme unction to a dying non-existent. Fishmongers, shoemakers, and more than a dozen pianos were next to emerge, along with six stout men carrying an organ. Dignitaries including the Governor of the Bank of England, the Duke of York, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and the Lord Mayor of the City of London also attended the site. The city's narrow streets were soon severely congested by shopkeepers and onlookers. Deliverers and visitors continued to arrive until nightfall, bringing much of London to a standstill. Hook positioned himself in a house directly opposite 54, Berners Street, from where he and his friend spent the day watching the chaotic situation unfold. The writer, however, never directly revealed his involvement, and investigations that tried to link him to the case turned out to be inconclusive. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article. Give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.